James Middleton, brother of Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, captured worldwide attention during her iconic royal wedding to Prince William in 2011. At the ceremony, James delivered a poignant reading of a Bible verse that left an indelible mark not only on those present at Westminster Abbey, but also on the millions watching the event from across the globe. In a recent interview with the Sunday Times, James shared an intriguing behind-the-scenes story about how his performance led to an unexpected and rather surprising offer from an American production company. Following the royal wedding, James revealed that his reading garnered significant attention, so much so that a production company from the United States extended him a remarkable $1 million offer. They were eager to have him participate in a project, but their proposal went beyond just James. As he shared in the interview, they even ventured that members of my wider family might like to take part. Despite the lucrative nature of the deal, James turned it down, deciding that his foray into public speaking was not something he wanted to pursue in a professional or commercial capacity. In hindsight, this moment marked a pivotal instance in his public life, as it brought him recognition far beyond what he anticipated, especially given his personal struggles with dyslexia and severe anxiety at the time. James went on to describe just how nerve-wracking the experience had been for him, particularly because of his dyslexia, a condition that made reading aloud in such a high-stakes setting feel almost insurmountable. While delivering a live reading at any event can be daunting, doing so in front of hundreds of esteemed guests, members of the British royal family included, and having the event broadcast to millions around the world introduced a whole new level of pressure. However, determined to support his sister on her monumental day, James took his role seriously, going so far as to enlist the help of a vocal coach to ensure he could deliver the reading confidently and flawlessly. Despite his fears, he approached the task with deep personal resolve, stating, I wasn't aware of the scale or the global interest. I just felt privileged that my sister was asking me to do it, and it meant something to her. I wanted to make sure I did it. James also took a moment to reflect on the time leading up to the royal wedding and the early days of Prince William's relationship with Kate. He expressed immense gratitude for the way Prince William supported the Middleton family during those initial years when media interest in Kate, and by extension her family, began to reach fever pitch. The intense scrutiny from the press placed tremendous pressure on the Middletons, who had previously led relatively private lives. William, knowing firsthand how relentless the media could be, took steps to protect Kate's family from the constant barrage of attention. William was a fantastic support for us as a family James recounted. He did everything he could to protect us from the intense interest, not just in Catherine, but also her immediate family. This kind of media attention was overwhelming, especially for James, who, at that time, was already grappling with personal challenges that made handling the added pressure even more difficult. But at that time, I was already in a vulnerable state of mind, and it was an added pressure. He revealed, giving insight into the mental health struggles he was enduring during that period. In recent years, James Middleton has become increasingly open about his mental health journey, including his battle with depression and anxiety. In his memoir, Meet Ella, he candidly discusses the emotional toll that these struggles took on him, sharing that he even contemplated suicide at one point in 2017. What ultimately helped him find the strength to continue and eventually seek help was his deep connection with his dog, Ella, a cocker spaniel who became a source of comfort and companionship during his darkest moments. I was never alone in a time when I felt very lonely James shared during his interview with the Sunday Times. Ella played an instrumental role in keeping James grounded when he felt most isolated. He explained that while he was suffering from anxiety and depression, it was difficult to understand what was happening to him, let alone articulate his emotions to others. Something was taking over my mind, but not knowing what it was made it very difficult to talk about. And I didn't feel as though I had a right to be depressed because I've had everything, because I am privileged, he admitted. Although James knew he was fortunate in many ways coming from a supportive family and being part of a close-knit circle of loved ones, he struggled with feelings of guilt. He felt as though he didn't have the right to be depressed. An all-too-common sentiment among people who experience mental health issues but feel unworthy of seeking help due to their outward circumstances. His internal battle with these thoughts and feelings led him to finally seek treatment, but it wasn't an easy path. His sisters, Kate and Pippa, offered him unwavering support throughout his journey. However, James admitted that his parents initially had difficulty understanding the gravity of what he was experiencing. They were uncomfortable with the fact that I'd been labeled clinically depressed, he wrote in his memoir, explaining that for people of their generation, mental health diagnosis carried a certain stigma. To people of their generation, I can understand why it was concerning. Society was only just starting to break through the stigma. It As James began to heal, he realized that his parents' misunderstanding of his condition wasn't rooted in a lack of care but rather in a generational gap where mental health issues weren't discussed as openly as they are today. 
Wanting to bridge this gap and help his family understand what he was going through, James and his family eventually attended therapy together. Family therapy became a crucial step in their collective healing process. James described the sessions as an opportunity for his parents to ask the questions he couldn't answer on his own. I felt guilty because I knew they were worried he shared. They felt guilty because it's really hard if you're not able to help the people you love the most. Therapy allowed the Middletons to communicate in ways they hadn't before, helping them to grow closer as a family. James Middleton's journey is one of resilience, courage, and vulnerability. His willingness to open up about his mental health, especially as someone connected to one of the most scrutinized families in the world, has been both inspiring and eye-opening for many. In discussing his struggles, he not only sheds light on the personal challenges he faced, but also provides a powerful reminder that mental health knows no boundaries whether you're a member of the British royal family, a public figure, or an everyday person. It's important to prioritize well-being and seek help when needed. Through his candidness, James has become a vocal advocate for breaking the stigma surrounding mental health, proving that even in the darkest moments, there is hope for recovery and connection.